Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying this this fly here. Now what this is really is a well, it's, it's a CDC soft tackle or wet fly. Um, it's a wet fly pattern I like. Um, what it is is a good sub for owl. The owl was originally used in quite a few old flies as a hackle for some of the traditional soft tackle wet flies. Now I did have some a few years ago and fished it. Absolutely brilliant. It's a very mobile and soft fibre and there's very few fibres like it to be honest with you. And the nearest one to it is like CDC and this is a basically a, a just it's a wet fly as I say but it's like a cinnamon and tan because it's a cinnamon dyed CDC with a tan coloured body. They're very similar in colour. Uh, you could practically think it was dyed in the same same bath. But it's a great, it's a great fly. It's a great caddis pattern. It's a great wet fly. Uh, as I say, not CDC obviously is known for uh, floating your dry fly, but you can actually fish it as a wet fly. So as you can see, I'm turning it around about here so you can see it. And this is a, is this a good pattern? So I thought I'd let you see it because I'm actually filling some box boxes of wet flies at the moment, and this is one of the flies that's in it. So anyway, well, we're going to film the fly. Now I'm going to be tying it using a traditional silk. This is the piezo silk. Now you don't have to use uh, the silk, but you could use a brown thread. It could be uni or UTC, whatever you whatever you like. So I've just waxed it. It's important that you do wax the the silk and uh, even the normal thread. I, I like to wax it. So now what I'm going to do here, because it's got a hero head, I'm going to start my thread to give me the measure at least two head lengths away from the eye. So you can just walk your way down, and the way down I'm going to tie in, if I can find it, uh, some gold tinsel. This is just a small gold tinsel, you could use wire, I like to use a, a, a tinsel. So if we cast that in the way down, it makes it easier. And just wind it till, just slightly by the point of the hook. Now, especially last year, I, I used a lot of full mill dubbins. Now one of my favourite was this. This is the Euronym Flash. It's a tan UV. It's a great dubbing. Uh, I've used it in a few flies. It's a lovely soft fibre. It's got that UV in it, uh, which I like. It just catches the light. Uh, when it's, and especially when you're working with flies, it's close to the surface. It's a great dubbing. I like it on the, the heads of flies as well as the, the body. So lightly dub it on, slide it up, and then we just get it started. Now it's basically just sitting on the thread, so I can tighten as I wind up if I want it tighter. I want a reasonable shape, but I don't want it too tight, because I want the, the actual rib to sit into the dubbing to get that kind of segmented body look. So there's your two head, oh you get your two head lengths, they're still there. Come up with a, with a rib, so it's, you can see it's sitting into the, the dubbing itself, and we catch it. I've got three or four turns there, so you trim it out. Now I'm going to use my velcro here just to brush some of this fibre out and some of the UV. Make sure you don't catch your thread. Then you want to wax your thread again, stroke back any fibre that's going forward. Now the CDC feather, I've got it there, I'll show you a whole one, here's the whole feather. Now I'd, I'd keep the, 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 the bottom fibres uh, for dubbing, never throw that away. So what I'm going to do here is catch it by the tip, using my aqua pliers, just drawing back the fibre. Making sure I've got the best part of the stem there. There we are. The stem of the CDC is strong. And I'm going to trim this so I can secure it in. And there's four turns down there. I'm going to use up all the fibre in this. Just stroke it back. And then we just wind down. This is quite a dense fibre, this. On this one, you'll get them CDC feather, you'll get different types. Just looking at that, it's quite, it's quite 
quite a lot. I may not use it all because it's maybe too much. Most times you have to use it all. It's best to go back. If you're not happy, just go back. So, uh, into the third, that's plenty. So what I'm going to do is just open it out. Take away the fibres I don't want. Come down with two or three turns. Trim away the stem. Just draw it back and wind towards the eye and then come back up. I want a reasonable head on this. So we quick look to see what this is like. Now a lot of people say CDC's obviously sold as float a fly, but it makes a great wet fly because it's to say it's a great sub for owl. Owl was a very soft and mobile uh, fibre and so is CDC. So for the you could use normal peacock kettle and nice bronze, but this is to get the bronze I like, the deep colour, I dye it uh, hot orange. You can see this, I don't know if you can see it in the light. It's a great, it's a great uh, colour. So I'm going to tie it in close to the tip. Just mark some thread. The fibres there. It's going to come round my turn, just a light turn and pull it in. And then we wind down towards the eye. Now to protect the, the herald, you can either wind, wind over some varnish or some super glue. I'm using some super glue. Just need a wee touch. It will hold it fine. And then we wind down. Now just be careful, you can actually fold it like a hackle in this this way. I like I like to make sure I get a reasonable herald. Just wind towards the eye. It will stick, just give it time to stick. And when you're happy, just follow up like you would do with a hackle. I do a turn to lock it in. Now the super glue is holding it, but just be careful where you just don't stick down. Just lightly draw this back. Do a couple of turns of the thread now. I've got a couple of fibres here. Just go back, just stroke it back with your fingers. That's fine. Now, I usually nick it off, break it off to get a neat cut. Then I varnish. The varnish on my thread, just a light coat, and then what finish. Take your time when you're doing this. One, two, three. I've got a couple of fibres there. And tighten up. Trim away. There's wee fibres here. I'm just going to trim them out. And there we are. So, Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And again, thanks for watching.